Honey, come look at this. This is deer. Oh, yeah. They kind of look like ghosts. <laughs> yeah, they do. And the bunny. Oh, yeah, that is a bunny. So that was captured with the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced. Right here, right where I'm standing. I put the drone up this morning just to see if I could see anything. And there were some deer right in my backyard. So that was pretty cool. Resolution on that thermal camera is so, so fun. So today, what I wanna show you is the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced. It is advertised as one of the best beginner drones for people that wanna get into flying commercially. There's a lot of different options out there. And this is one that I wanna show you because it is the most affordable for what you get. So let's take a look at the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced. <laughs> Got myself an e-bike, hopefully I don't break a leg. Hi everyone, welcome to 51 Drones. My name is Russ and you are either here because you wanna learn how to get rich quick with a drone or you're already rich and you just wanna get a cool toy to show off to your friends and family. But seriously, you guys, the fact is, you really can earn a decent living by flying a drone commercially. The earning potential is pretty much only limited by your imagination. There are literally hundreds of use cases for drones and I bet that there are many opportunities right in your community right now that you didn't even know existed. For a relatively small investment, you can start your very own commercial drone business. And I'm here to show you if the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced is the tool that you need for the job. Now at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you some tips on how you can start your very own commercial drone business. So let's get started and show you what to expect when you open the box of the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced. The Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced comes with a heavy duty hard sided case with a rubber gripped handle, thick latches and grommet holes on each side so you can lock it. This is the smart controller. Now I'm really excited about using this to fly because up until this point, I have only flown with a phone or an iPad. I think the biggest benefit of this will be the speed at which you can get to flying. In emergency situations in particular, speed is the most important thing. The smart controller does come loaded with all of the software that you need, plus it has a built-in screen recorder, which can be useful as a redundant recording source. There is an extra mounting port clip in case you lose the first one. It has extra sticks, a charging block for the smart controller, some paperwork, the drone itself, which is very familiar as I mostly fly the Mavic 2 Pro, and this chassis is nearly identical, except for the orange trim. It does come with an enterprise battery, which is self-heating, so that's nice for flying in lower temperatures. Here is the dual camera, which is a 640 by 512 pixel thermal, and a half inch 48 megapixel quad bear visual camera. Anytime you hit the record button on this drone, it does record both files to the card or the internal memory. You get three extra sets of props, the charging cord and the USB-C cable, the power brick, and then here are three attachable accessories. The adjustable loudspeaker, which I'm really looking forward to using. The attachments all connect to the top of the drone by micro USB and two screws. Right here is the 2400 lumen spotlight, which is extremely bright. It can be useful for so many things like search and rescue or low light inspection scenarios. And then finally, this is the strobe beacon. This is meant to improve line of sight. It is visible from three miles away, which makes it FAA compliant. Now my thoughts on the beacon is that I don't like the fact that it does take up that port. So most of the time I will use an aftermarket strobe like the loom cube or the firehouse. That way I can still attach one of the components if needed. So there's everything in the box. Next, let's get everything set up and ready for flight. Okay, before we get to that though, I do have a recommendation. If you're considering the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced, you probably should get the Fly More Combo Kit. And the reason for that is just because of the batteries. You're gonna get two extra self-heating smart batteries. And if you're gonna be flying this thing at all for any length of time, you're gonna wish you had extra batteries. And so not only do you get two extra batteries, you get four extra propellers, you get the charging bank, you get the power bank adapter, and you get the car charger and this nice soft-sided case. So it's totally worth it. It's about a $470 addition, 
but if you're spending the money to get the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced, you probably should spend an extra $400 or so and get the Fly More Combo. I promise you, you won't regret it. Okay, so the first clip I wanna show you, this is me pretending to inspect the blade of a wind tower, a wind turbine, and I'm shooting in 1080p. I have it zoomed in to 2x, and I think it looks pretty good. The other thing that was really impressive to me on this day, it was 34 miles per hour wind, and this drone handled it like it was no problem at all. I was really, really impressed with that. Now here's another shot I got on that same day before the wind came up. This one was actually pretty stressful though because I was so close to the wires and also it was over the water. So you know how I am with over water. Now here's the thermal uh, image of that same shot. As you can see, the image quality out of this camera is really, really impressive. Now the first thing to do is to set up and connect your smart controller. You will enter your language, your country of origin, and then you'll need to connect to a Wi-Fi network. You're gonna enter your time zone and then log in to your DJI account. Now, if you don't have a DJI account, you can create one right from this screen. Once you are logged in, you can activate the drone. Next, you'll download and install some firmware updates, which can be done in the background. It will take you through a quick screen layout tutorial and you can choose to do a more detailed tutorial on screen if you like. Next, you'll sign a terms of use. You'll grant authorization for access. You'll update to the latest version, and then it will ask your experience of flying the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced. This screen also has several tutorials, case studies, and flight tips for you to view, and I do recommend going through those because there's a lot of valuable information there. Next, let's get the drone ready by removing all 18 stickers. Yes, that's right. There are 18 stickers on here, and I guarantee that you will miss at least two of them. Okay, so here I'm simulating a um, inspection of some HVACs. These are rooftop venting. And I think HVAC would be a wonderful opportunity for people that want to get into a commercial drone service just because there's so many of them and not very many people do this. So I think it'd be great. Okay, so what I want to do now is I just want to show you the DJI Pilot app and what it looks like. Um, also, at the same time, I'm kind of giving you a view of this thermal camera. So the first thing that I want to show you is you have the option to choose to see either the thermal camera view or the visible camera view, which you're not going to see very much of now because it's still dark out this morning, uh, or you can split the view. So you can have the thermal on the left-hand side and the visible camera on the right-hand side. So that's pretty nice. Uh, one thing that you should know, if you take a photograph with this drone, and uh, let's say you want to zoom in. You can zoom in with either camera. So right now I'm going to switch over to the infrared. I'm going to zoom in by clicking this plus right here to two times. Let's get a good look at that uh, sand pile right there. I'm going to take a photograph. All right. So presumably that's what I'm going to see when I download it to my computer, right? No, you're only going to see it in 1x. When this drone takes a photograph, it only records in one time. It doesn't record a zoomed in image. Now I'm told that's gonna to be changed with an upcoming firmware update. Uh, but for now, just know that if you wanna zoom in on an image, you have to do it in post-production. You have to do it with your editing software. So the uh, visible camera, you can zoom in up to 32 times. Of course, you're not gonna be able to see very much right now, but, um, but you can zoom in to 32 times. And with the thermal camera, you can zoom in up to eight times okay so let's go to split screen you can also zoom in on the split screen up to 16 times okay now 16 times you're really not going to see much i would say a max that i would want to zoom in with the thermal camera is four times uh, otherwise you lose quite a bit of quality so the other thing that i wanted to show you on here is the color palettes so right now i'm recording in white hot there's black hot uh, that means that the warmer temperatures are going to show up black. There's rainbow, iron red, arctic, fulgurite, holtron, rainbow, tint, which is my favorite, and medical. For most search and rescue type situations, uh, you're either going to be using white hot or black hot. 
So there's a quick look at the DJI Pilot app. I'm not gonna do a detailed tutorial on this app because that could be its very own video. There's a lot of information here. So if you guys are interested in seeing everything about this app, just let me know in the comments. You know, if this video does well, it means that you guys are interested in seeing more about this drone. Of course, like I mentioned, I will be doing another video on this drone, getting a little more in depth on the things that you can do with it. But uh, if you guys wanna see a detailed tutorial on the Pilot app, just let me know down in the comments and I can make one of those as well. Now, one thing that I do wanna show you here that I was able to capture this morning is when I was flying around, I did find some more deer. So um, pretty cool. And then I used the spotlight. I have the spotlight attached and I was able to uh, shine the spotlight on them, get a better look at them. So that just shows you how powerful this drone can be for search and rescue. That's honestly, that's probably what I would use this drone mo mostly for. For myself because I do want to be involved with first responders. I want to be able to contribute in, in, in some way to maybe help find someone or you know find maybe a missing pet. That would be so rewarding. So, so that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? So fun, you guys. So I've shown you a few of the ways that the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advance could be used to earn revenue by an individual. But how could it be used by some organizations to further their mission? Today I met with the local rural fire chief and the chief of police to get their thoughts on drones in general and in particular on the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced. So first of all, I stopped by the police station and I sat down with the chief of police and he did tell me on the phone that they had received a grant along with a generous donation, which was used to train four officers as well as purchase two drones. He said that after some extensive research and some conversations with other agencies, it was evident that adding drones to their arsenal would be of great benefit. Now I did find out that the two drones they ordered were actually the DJI Air 2S and the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced. And what they're doing is they're running everything through a vendor called Axon, which is a productivity and service provider for all things public safety. With Axon, any drone data collection is instantly placed into case files, making it super efficient and extremely detailed. It's a super cool program. After our visit, I did let them know that if they ever need assistance in any way, especially in the way of a missing person, to give me a call and I would be happy to assist. Right after my visit at the police department, I ran over to the rural fire station and I had a nice visit with the chief over there. I showed him everything about the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced and we discussed how tremendously helpful it would be to have a thermal camera equipped drone to monitor and manage wildfires. Those guys battle blazes that are hundreds of acres and it's impossible to monitor everything from the ground. So I let him know as well that I would be happy to help in any way should the need arise. He was very impressed with this drone and he asked me to check out the communications tower on his building just to see how detailed the images could be on something like that. Again, he was very excited and impressed to see the high quality images that this drone can capture. So I think I'll be doing more with his department in the future and hopefully they can find a grant or something like that to make it possible for them to get one of their very own or they could just use it to pay me. So what if you wanna start an actual drone business as an individual? What are the very first steps? Well. If you're talking about the United States, if you live in the US, there's two steps. Number one, get a drone that's capable. And number two, earn your FAA Part 107 Remote Pilot Certificate. Now, if you live outside the US, there's other qualifications that are required for different countries. So you just need to do your own research and find out what's needed there. After that, after you have your drone and you have your certificate or your license, you need to get some good flight hours on your record. Fly that drone as much as you can, Try it in as many situations as you can. You just need to have that flight experience under your belt. Next, what you need to decide, and maybe you did this early on, but you need to choose what sort of things you wanna be doing with your drone. What are you willing to do and what are you interested in? Now, just to name a few, there's HVAC inspection, you know, heating and cooling, which I'll dig in a little bit deeper in my next video on this drone. There's energy applications like wind tower inspection or job site monitoring construction surveying, roof inspection. That's one that you could actually start doing from day one. So many people need their roofs inspected and the manpower that it requires to do that without a drone is like almost excessive. Like you could walk into an insurance company's office and say, look, 
I have this amazing drone. I can start doing roof inspections for you and at a fraction of the price that you're doing it now. Livestock management is a good one. Community entities like water treatment plants, water towers, parks and recreation could benefit from a drone like this. Agriculture and forestry could benefit by analyzing crop health. Just like I mentioned earlier, the opportunities are nearly endless. And the best thing is we are still in the relatively early stages of this and there aren't very many people that have the ability to do these sorts of things. So that means specialized premium services warrant premium fees. For many of the services that you could offer with the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced, even considered an entry level commercial drone, you could charge anywhere from $100 to $500 per hour, depending on your market and the industry. For instance, the oil and gas industry is the top tier right now for professional drone pilots. Of course, kind of the downside of that is you most likely need to be hired by a company and then become a part of their team. But those guys earn a ton of money doing that. Now in my next video on the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced, I'm gonna show you some specific use cases for this drone and hopefully, I can further educate those of you who are thinking about starting your own drone service. And also, I hope to help you decide if the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced is the drone that you need to reach your goals. I can tell you right now, after flying this thing for just three weeks, that the portability and the versatility of it, along with the price for everything that you get, this is a wonderful option. So if you're interested in learning more about this drone and all of its components, or if you wanna get one for yourself, I will have a link down in the video description. If I was able to provide you with any valuable information today, please consider clicking on that thumbs up button. It really does help out this video and the channel as a whole. Subscribe if you wanna see more on this amazing commercial drone. Like I said, I will be making at least one more and probably a few more videos on this drone as I go through this journey of dipping my toes into commercial drone work. I wanna thank you for watching the entire video today. Have a great day, everyone. And as always, fly safe and fly smart.